What is going on world? What's up guys? It's Zero here. I hope all of you out there are having a fantastic uh, day or night, whatever it is in your neck of the woods. Guys, we are going to complete the series that is between Nurcio and Hass. We've been casting the rest of them. You guys can check those out on the channel. But listen guys, I'm very excited to go ahead and cast this last game because I'm going to tell you something. These two have been going at it all series long and they have been giving us some very exciting games. So without further ado, in the bottom left hand corner of Redshift LE, we have the player playing with the Protoss units. He goes by the name of Hass. And our Zerg opponent playing in the top left hand corner of red chip le one of my personal favorite players in all of starcraft 2 he goes by the name of nurcio so guys i have been really enjoying watching this even uh even though my man's uh nurcio who i have really enjoy uh watching he's one of the guys i love just uh, just playing with um i am really enjoying uh watching him play um uh, StarCraft 2 and his different builds and such. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting and exciting to see him play. Now, I, now, right off the bat here, he goes for an expansion right here in his gold, the gold base, which obviously guys on Red Chip LE, both teams can, you know, expand to their gold very easily, but this is an interesting concept. Instead of going where the norm is, which is right here, guys. He's going on the opposite side, and I think we might get a cannon rush from Hass, which I am not uh, at all surprised about. I This is completely uncharacteristic of Nurcio um, to go for a build of like this. Um, so this this could be very sticky very fast. He's going for the quick roach warren. He went ahead, got his, his spawning pool. So he went for a hatch gas pool, guys, into a roach warren. And now he's going to deal with what is going to be a cannon rush. I, I, I'm still kind of blown away as to why Nurcio decided to go for the 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 gold base on the opposite side of the goal of where you're supposed to be taking it. So you can't even get any gas or anything. He must have just wanted to close this game out very quickly. He decided to go ahead and go into his natural expansion and go ahead and get that. But this is going to really hurt, um, I think, in the long run. Let's talk about what Hass is doing on the opposite side. He's going for a Stargate. So a little bit different than what he's been doing uh, in this uh, matchup so far. Going with the Stargate, I like that a lot. I'm excited to see kind of what he's going to go for. I'm wondering if he's going to go with Oracles. So he, right off the bat, he's got an Adept right now. He's going to kind of try to uh, shade into the main base we have Nurcio, who is uncharacteristically, um, he is supply blocked right now as well. And we have Nurcio, or we have Hass, who's taking the goal base. Normal. <laughs> the normal way to take the goal base is what he did. So I, I'm, I'm really confused as to why Nurcio did that. But with that being said, he's going to get some aggression on the opposite side of the map. We have an Oracle coming out. This could be bad news for Hass, actually. This could do crippling amounts of damage. Now, he does have uh, one cannon, but this is going this is going to hurt a lot, I think, guys. He is, he is coming in here, and he is taking out a lot of these probes so far. Now, the question is, though, is it going to be enough uh, to kind of get back into this game? Because it seems like we have the Oracle is out of energy at this point. Now we have the goal bases back up. It looks like this Ravager is going to be taken out uh, with relative ease from the uh, Stalker. But boy, did that do some damage. Now, here's another thing. You got, you got, this is the other concept of, of this map that makes it very interesting. It's very easy for the opponent to come right over to these gold mineral patches and start taking out the probes or whatever the other opponent's uh, pieces that they have. Now, I am very interested to see. He has a uh, Hass that is has these uh, some of these oracles. Kind of, uh, it looks like he's going to have them kind of floating around. Now on the opposite side of the map, 
we have a couple of spores. I like that. A couple of spore crawlers. Um, it seems to me that he's, uh, we got Nurchio, that is, playing a little bit of some catch up here. But you know what? He is, he did some damage there uh, to our Protoss opponent. And so I'm very interested to see now what is Nurchio going to do, or has that is, to respond uh, to what's happening. Because he's going to start getting a, a big boost in economy here with these gold mineral patches. Sets up the surround on some roaches and has... He's not playing. He's not playing this game. He says, no, sir. You're not going to keep on harassing me. Now, these uh, these queens are coming very... Uh, coming off of the creep quite a bit. I'm not sure I like that decision by Nurchio. I wonder if he's planning on planning an all in here because these queens are making their way over to this goal base. I'm wondering if he's going to try to snipe the gold expansion of our Protoss opponent. Now we do see a th three gateways going up. Twilight Council is up as well. And this might be very, this might be very interesting. This could be a very interesting concept. Now, it looks like, possibly, I, I don't know what Nurchio's plan is here. These oracles are still trying to harass on the opposite side of the map. We have the lair that's coming up here. Now, I don't see any um, upgrades coming from Nurchio right now, and I'm surprised about that. I, I would have expected him to have his plus one, plus one upgrades going, at least for ground units at this point. But I'm not seeing that. Now... Here's a, here's a problem for Hass, that is. He is only mining off of one base. He has 23 probes on this one base. So, what is, what is the plan for the Protoss going to be? He's obviously going to expand down here, which Nurchio is well aware of. So, it's going to be kind of an eye for an eye sort of situation. You take out my gold base, I'm going to take out yours just as um, in the same game. A massive eye for an eye here. Now, now over here, in the, near the top right corner here on Redshift, we have a probe that is looks like is putting down a probe. And I'm wondering if they're going to set, if he's going to try to set up a surround. Now, okay, so the evolution chamber is up. I don't see any upgrades so far going. Now, charge has just been completed for the Protoss player. And this natural expansion is still not up yet. So a couple... Okay. So we have uh, none other than the Dark Templars. Now, I, I don't necessarily like this decision because we've got both... He has the spores in here. Now, he could get some... You know, he definitely could. If he can get some, you know, free drones, obviously that's going to be huge for him. So he warps in... Um, a couple of Dark Templar, which I really like that decision. I did like it a lot. But as we can see, Nurchio is getting more and more queens out. Now, this has become the standard I, I've, I've found for Zerg. The more queens you have, the better. Because not only are they a great defensive unit, um, the simple fact that they um, they can, you know, heal and they, you know, they can spread the creep around, they are so valuable. Now... He is warping in some zealots. Man, he loves these zealots. I'm wondering if he's going to try to kill this third base. That would be quite interesting. So the composition right now for the Zerg is really Roach and Ravengers. We're not seeing much else. Now, he's going to find out about this pylon very, very soon, but so is Hass. He's going to find out about this expansion up here. So what to do at this point? I, like, I, at, at this point, if I'm the Protoss player, I don't, you know, I, I go on two bases, and I might just go for a two-base all-in, especially seeing that this third base just went up. So, that Dark Templar just got taken out very quickly, and these Zealots I might go down for free. Now, I, I do like these, the, uh, these two, um... Uh, oracles just chilling over here with the stasis they're slowing down the production of the zerg player which i really do like now nurchio got his speed upgrade for the overlords and i'm liking i i do like the position of 
Nurcio, at least at this point. I think that his current position is good. He just, he has to, you know, really um, keep up here. Like, you really got, you, you just, just, I, I would go for an all-out assault at this point. He's so hot, heavily, um, you know, um, just kind of soaking the, the, this Protoss player for all he's worth. I, I don't know if our Protoss player is going to have enough if the Zerg uh, attacked. Now, he is going for his third base at this point. But I think losing this gold base over here really hurt our Protoss p opponent, guys. So, now a couple of stasis wards. If he lands them well, whew, guys, it could be it could be GG's right then and there. So let's see what what our, we got. The army is you know is starting to build. He's got Hydras. He's going for another evolution chamber, and it looks like at this point, everybody. Um, he is going for the plus two. Uh, he's not going... Okay, we got, we got, we got plus one, but he's got, he's going for the plus two, and, and this is all for ground units, so I think he's probably, if you had to ask me, give me a, an assumption here, I would have to say he's probably going to attack very soon after this upgrade finishes. And this is a menacing force. I mean, just look at this. They are flooding down to the third base. And this is where it, 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 it right here is where it's got to end um, for, for Nurcio. Because the longer, the more more time that he gives this Protoss opponent, uh, it's going to end bad for, for Nurcio most likely. Just because the Protoss army just becomes more and more menacing as the game goes but if you can at least weaken him more and more because uh that that's what you really need to do now he might have over overextended if he tried to take out this base now we have uh we have a lot of banelings coming up too so the question is 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 nurture going to go for a surround in one way or another this is very interesting, guys. He has so many queens. I would assume that he would have these queens that would come over to help the main army over here um, with defusing some of them. And the Bane Lane Hicks. Oh, my God. See you later, Charlie. Holy shit. Guys, Nurcio just dropped a bomb on Hass there. Hass needs to go now and try to... Um, he needs to try to get do as much damage as he can, um, or just go home. And he is absolutely getting surrounded right here. Our Zerg opponent is taking full advantage of a Protoss player on creep. This is so bad right now, everyone. And Nurcio is everywhere. He has he has units everywhere right now. And this is why I absolutely love watching this man play with the Zerg pieces because he just. Guys, it's just one of those things. He is uh, one of the best when it comes to playing with these Zerg pieces. And my God, those Baneling hits ended uh, Hass completely. I mean, that was that was that was it. That was it. And you know, that's why, guys, something that I need to learn. And I know a lot of other people out there are trying to get better at playing with the Zerg pieces. A lot of it has to do with creep spread, um, and obviously that's only a piece of of the pie when it comes to playing StarCraft Two. But that is a huge, huge ordeal when you are playing, especially with the Zerg. And uh, Nurcio just showed why. Because when you're spreading out creep all over the map, as we could see, it was well over halfway past um, the, ma the map on Redshift. It is incredible to see what kind of results you get when you know where the other guy is. I hope you guys did enjoy this cast and i hope you guys enjoyed this series that was nurcio versus Hass. and if you guys did make sure you guys don't forget to leave a thumbs up subscribe for new follow if you're new whatever it is guys i hope you all will do that let's have a real conversation stay positive and i will see you guys all in the next one peace out